buenos dias and happy, happy Tuesday. You know, I always add a happy in there when I'm not quite sure what day it is. But today is Tuesday, guys, and welcome to the vlog. Just leaving the office and headed home. So this morning, I had a water problem. Brisa, when going to sleep last night, just put some sheets in the washer. Washer, some, something happened with the washer. It overflowed and there was water everywhere. Got to go home and deal with that. Not much to report here from the washer and dryer room. I checked the this filter down here. There's nothing. Uh, last time this overflowed, that thing, uh, it unscrews and it's filled with like smaller type chip thingy uh, pieces, if you will. I'm doing a test wash. Hopefully it goes through and we're back in business. All right, I made an executive decision not to run. I'm gonna let the legs rest, but I am gonna finish my push-ups for the day. Remember, I'm trying to do 100 a day for seven days straight for 700 push-ups. I've already done 40. I'm actually gonna test myself and see if I can bust out 60 right now. So 60 plus 40 makes 100. Got my math now. Sixty. One hundred today. Sixty plus forty. Done. Ooh. Those push-ups consecutively? Cardiovascular, can I tell you? Especially when you're not in that great a shape. But it's coming. It's coming. I'm starting to feel the chest starting to form. So getting that 100 a day, I think it's gonna be a good benefit and I hope to keep it rolling. I know I'm being non-committal there. I'm just trying to sneak up on it. Don't worry, I got a plan, I got a plan. Tonight, in honor of myself drinking some new tea, Brisa, my youngest daughter, having some green tea. So we're gonna call this Green Tea Tuesday Talk. Now, this isn't a new segment, don't get any ideas, but sounds good, right? The reason I want to take, I know I've heard for years that green tea, green tea actually has a lot of benefits. So here's a few of the things that it can do for you. And they're not in any order. They're just the ones that I can remember. It improves brain function, good for weight loss because it increases the metabolism, at least in the short term. It has loads of antioxidants, which actually can decrease or help fight off various diseases. Did I talk about improving brain function? <laughs> I think I need to drink more. That's right, it can make you smarter. Here's one of the things I like. It increases fat burning. Did you hear me? Fat burning. I'm not sure you heard me. Fat burning. Also, those same antioxidants, those diseases I talked about, the big C, one of them is known to fight off at least various types of cancer. Hey, green tea can improve dental health and actually kill off bacteria? Hmm. What's in this stuff? Here's a good one. Here is a real good one. We are an obese country. It can help in lowering the risk of type two diabetes. Down for that. Improves your heart and lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease. Overall, <laughs> this is a huge one in my book. It actually can decrease your risk of dying. Help you live longer? What? Needless to say, I'm gonna make this green tea stuff part of my daily or at least nightly routine. Better order some more green tea. By the way, this stuff, um, kind of an acquired taste. I mean, it, it really doesn't taste like anything and I'm sure there's other types that have different flavors and things of that nature. I'll stick with this. I think I can get used to this. It's just, just like drinking hot water basically. So I'm into it. 
if it gives me all those benefits, I'm gonna give it a shot and see, see what it does for the old system. So I'm gonna end with this. Get to know me a little bit. Come in closer. Come in closer, closer. Uh, those who know me well know that I was born in the country of Chile and I've been here for 40 plus years. I live and breathe the red, white, and blue. America really is my country. And I, and I thought I'd just really bring this up because I just wanted to chime in with this little piece. I am a permanent resident. What does that really mean? I have all the legal rights of any US citizen, except for a couple minor things, such as voting, which probably could have been somewhat important depending on who you voted for this year. I guess it somewhat leaves me without a voice but nonetheless, I would not choose to be in any other country in the world than this one here that I was raised in. I tell you that from the bottom of my heart. There's a lot of hate out there right now. I would hope that this is just a moment of love that you are capturing here on the vlog. And just know that we have to overcome. If you disagree with the current administration, then voice it. If you agree with the current administration, then voice it. Do what you do. Be you, do you. I've always said that on this vlog. I don't have the right to tell you your opinion. And you should stand up for what you believe in. And I just wanted to bring this up because I've felt that I've been without a voice. So tonight, I've got my application printed. Yeah, I had to print it. And for those that know me well, I'm doing it. I should have done this for myself a long time ago. And that day that I become a U.S. citizen, it will be one of the proudest days of my life. And I mean that. I mean that. That being said, it seems like 20 pages long. Sheesh. Oh, well. I'm going to get this done this week. I'm going to fill it out. And I'm going to start the process. It's time. It's time for me to be called an American in a country that I love that I adore, that I back. That's a little heavy even for me, but I, I just, hopefully now we are a little bit closer. Please consider subscribing. Hit that like button if you like this vlog, and please comment, love to talk to you. All of my information for social media is down in the description. And remember, always try to sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life, and every day, try to keep it fun enough. And we're going to do this again tomorrow. We'll see you guys.